Hello everyone, welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up my robbery kit. So like my robbery system kit. Basically, it's a register. Um, you can go up to it, you can begin a robbery, and then you have a certain number of times that you can rob it and get cash before it's all out and empty. I know I haven't uploaded in a while. Uh, sorry, i you know, been busy with school. I know it's just like every other excuse that, you know, YouTubers use, but let's get into today's video. The first things you need to do, download the robbery kit in the, descri in the description of this video. You're gonna go to toolbox, my models, and they're gonna insert the robbery kit into your studio. And then when you insert it, this should uh, pop in. You can like, you could drag it wherever you want. Inside of the model, you'll open it and you'll see two different folders, workspace and server script service. You're gonna take the script inside of server script service, plop it inside of that, um, you know, service. Same thing with the workspace one. Shift, click on both. Oops. And uh, delete the model. Now, for the setup, if you go inside of the register, this is where everything, all the important stuff is. You have the handler, the prompt, the bar UI, and the information. Let me just show you guys what it actually looks like without tweaking anything. So if we hit play, we go up to here, begin robbery. We have to, you know, initiate it. A bar pops up. We can click steal twenty dollars. We get twenty. The bar goes down. The uh, default number of max clicks is five. I'm gonna show you guys how to change that. How you guys can change the amount of money you you get. But as you can see, as we click it over and over again, we get more and more money. But the amount of the money in the register goes down. And then finally, when this reaches, you know, when it when it's empty, you can no longer rob it. So. I'm going to be showing you how to set it up now. So basically, in information is all you need to know. Um, you don't really need to mess with anything in the handler unless you know what you're doing. I wouldn't really mess any with anything here. Um, amount of clicks. This is what is going to determine how many uh, clicks or how many times you can rob the cash register before it's empty. So I have it set to five. If you set it to like 20 or something, you'll see if we apply. I'm not going to do it 20 times. I'll just show you the bar moves down less we click begin robbery we click you know rob cash and as you can see the bar is now moving down slower and definitely by a little a literaler literaler okay i can't pronounce that word a less amount than it was before let's say you wanted to change the amount of money you get per time you you know steal from the cash register you're gonna go ahead and go to this value right here money per click you can change this to whatever you want you can change it to 50 if you want and if we click play and we go begin robbery steal as you can see it says steal 50 dollars now and we click e i mean we hold e we get 50 dollars now every time we rob the cash register so that is the basics of setting up that. If you guys want to get in more depth, I can go into that right now. In the bar UI, it's pretty simple. It's just a frame that's the holder. And let me make this 0.5. So this gray frame is the holder. This green frame is the bar. If you guys want to, you know, make these more cool, you can maybe add like some UI corners or something into it. I don't know. You can make it however you want. You could decorate it. Just make sure. Um, it's named bar UI and it's holder and a bar in it. So just make sure of that. Um, the prompt, you don't really need to do anything unless you want to make like, unless you want to change like the hold duration and the max activation distance. There's not really much to change in there. In the actual script itself, it's not really too complicated. Um, you could probably understand it. If you want to change how fast the bar goes down on the UI, change this value right here to 0 0.5, 0 0.25, 3, 2, whatever you want. Don't mess with anything here. This is all good. Um, whatever value you have. So in service group service, the thing we added is a leader stats. And let's say you wanted like points or something. First of all, you change all these things where it says cash to points. Then in the handler script of the register, you would change um this is the points right here player leader stats out points 
or player on stats on points whatever it is change it to your value so that is a basic robbery system in roblox if you guys have any questions comments or concerns please join the discord server linked in the description i try to respond on there as you know as i as i can recently i haven't really been able to like i said school blah 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 all that stuff but um i'm definitely gonna try to be more active on there um if you guys enjoyed this video you know like subscribe all that good stuff that you guys do we still are growing uh a lot so that's been awesome we are at 1340 subscribers which is a pretty crazy number but um i thank you guys all for the support and uh, i love every single one of you guys so you know we're only gonna go up from here so that is how you make a basic robbery system in roblox studio if you guys want a more advanced tutorial on this where i go maybe like an npc that like runs away when you begin the robbery i can do that i don't know whatever you guys want to see leave them in the comments leave them in the discord and i will try to get back to you as soon as i can anyways that's it for today's video and as always i will see you guys in the next one